Welcome to sunny San Diego, California for the 13th stop on the AVP Crocs Tour. In the men's final, Nick Lucena and Sean Scott are looking to crack their string second and third place finishes with their first tournament win this season against the 2005 San Diego champions, Casey Jennings and Matt Furbringer. The AVP San Diego Crocs Slam starts now. San Diego. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, time to welcome one of the greats of all time, Holland P. With Phil Dellhauser, Todd Rogers, Sean Rosenthal, and Jacob on a plane to Beijing to represent the U.S., we had a wide open field, 32 team, single elimination bracket. No love lost between Nick Lucena and Casey Jennings. For more on this emerging rivalry, Nick Lucena is there with Sinjin Smith. Nick Lucena, you and Sean have been one of the most consistent teams this year. You've been in three finals, but you haven't won yet. So what do you got to do here? Yeah, I think we definitely haven't played our best in the finals, so we just got to relax, have fun, uh, side out, and serve tough. You know, Casey and Matt are a super tough team, and uh, we're going to have to play our best. Okay, hey, you're a fiery player. Guy on the other side's a fiery player, too, Casey. Now, you guys have had a few altercations. Fireworks have come out of it. What's that all about? Um, I don't like anyone on the other side of the court. It's all right. Casey's a great guy, a great player. You know, he reminds uh, me of myself, and uh, I'm going to let him know when I'm out in that court that we're not friends. Okay, so that helps you play, right? Oh, you better believe it. <laughs> all right, good. Believe it. Yeah, good luck. All right, then. Chris McGee along with Sinjin Smith and Holly McPeak. 1-0 on the board. I like that aggressive attitude by Nick Lucena. He's just going in to bomb his serve. He wants to start aggressive, and I think it's good to start aggressive. Casey Jennings, 33 years of age, serves at Sean Scott. And that ball goes wide. One ball on the board. Sean Scott, born and raised in Honolulu, Hawaii, went to Puno High School. Like so many great AVP players, like Kevin Wong, Stein Metzger, Mike Lambert. He's got five titles, 35 years old. 2-1, Jennings and Furbringer. Sandy, if you give yourselves a round of applause. You guys were great in the introduction. Good work, now let's keep on fire. Jennings and Furbringer defending San Diego champions from 2005. Matt Furbringer, call him the golden god. His middle name is Otto, named after his grandfather who passed away five days ago. Set to Sean Scott. Jennings with a great dig. Jennings has a chance for a real point and a net violation. 3-1. Furby and Jennings. Now watch Matt Furbringer jump into the angle. Casey Jennings plays the short shot of Sean Scott, and Sean Scott a little too eager to get that ball back, hitting the net on the block. They go to Scott again. Sean Scott delivers down the line. Hey, Holly, I don't know what <laughs> Jennings is doing in the backcourt because Furbringer had all the angle on that. Thing. So you would have thought that Jennings would have come all the way over to the line to dig it, but he was nowhere close. I think he was baiting him to go over angle. Sometimes you do that and take a risk, and Sean Scott made him pay. 
Kirby chisels from the left side, 4-2. As Casey Jennings, married to the great Kerry Walsh, gold medalist who is in the air right now, headed to Beijing, China, to defend the gold medal. Jennings, born and raised in Las Vegas. They call him the Wolverine, he's nasty. Lucena. Nick Lucena, swinging hard, 3-4. Now it's time to navigate the match with Nautica.com, and for that we go to Sinjin Smith. Sinjin. Well, if you want to know how these guys are, what they got to do to win, Furbinger and Jennings, they've got to be hungry for the win. They haven't won this year. They've got to go after everything. They can't hold back at all. That means Furbinger's got to make big moves on this block. Jennings has got to side out. Sean Scott, jump float. Jennings passes it real high. Gets a beautiful hand set. He buries it, but Lucena's there with a the dig. Over! Nick Lucena, the poke is good. 4-4 on the board. Make all the noise. Nick Lucena with an outstanding dig. And the poke to the back line. Holly McPeak, your turn to Nautica.com. Navigate the match. For Nick Lucena and Sean Scott, their coach David Dennis said they need to stay cool. They need to focus their emotions. When they serve well and they pass well, they play a solid game. Sean Scott. We'll go to Jennings again. That's tight. Furby to attack on two. No, doesn't have an opportunity, but Nick will. And Nick buries it. 5 4. We set it hard from the right side. You can see Matt Ferbinger was trying to get there to attack it on two, but just a little too tight. Well, his question to the referee is, Sean went up to block the ball, but it was an overpass. But then he played it again. So that's two hits. But I guess if they consider the first one a block, then it doesn't count as a hit. I believe the referee considered that a block. He was going up thinking Matt was going to hit the ball. And even though he didn't, he was attempting to block the ball. Even though Matt was 15 feet off the net. Yes. <laughs> Jennings off the top, all tied up, 5-5. Five, five. Casey Jennings feels the best he has felt all season. A little time off, back at home, not traveling as much, back in a rhythm. He's been working out in the gym and getting a lot of reps with his coach, Marcio Socoli. What's up? I'm Casey Jennings, and I grew up in the city of sin, Las Vegas, Nevada. I got a lot of fire. Fire! My mom taught me a valuable lesson. Work hard. Single mom, five boys running around. I'm never gonna be out work. They call me the Marty Scorsese of the AVP tour. What's up? This is the Casey Cam. We're hanging out in Manhattan Beach. My dad is responsible for me learning the game of beach volleyball. He would take us up to Lake Tahoe in the summers and on Ski Beach, that's where my brother and I learned to play. When I'm not on the volleyball court, I'm either skating, eating Mexican food, or on the golf course. I rock our money. My whole life, people have told me that I'm not strong enough, and I'm here to tell you. The AVP Croc Slam San Diego is brought to you by Crocs. Play hard, live comfortably. Bud Light keeps it coming. Nautica. Shop Nautica.com. And as always, the AVP reminds you to be a responsible. Welcome back to the AVP Croc Slam San Diego. Men's final taking place. Pick up the action a little later in game one. Furby moving to the other side to take more advantage of that wind blowing in his face. Furby tickles off the tape. Great save by Sean. It's going to be tight. And Furby wins the joust. 10-12. And you see Furby with that fist pump. You know, he needed that one. You know, Keeter, Sean rarely loses these. He's so strong at the net, but Furby he overpowers him that time. Well, Sean Scott's a chiseled statue. <laughs> Got the chiseled one going up against the long and lean Golden God, and the Golden God wins it. And he goes right at him. Big play. Oh. Jennings is there. Can he terminate? He's off the net, and he hits it long. 13-10. There's the ball I talked about, being patient. Casey Jennings was in the right spot, got a little bit of an off transition set, makes an error on the transition hit. They can't do that. They need to take advantage of every opportunity they get to score. And Holly, that is going to be key for them, as it usually is with Jennings and Furbringer. 
is them in transition, putting balls away after the dig. Cut shot on the loss, 11-13. I talked to Coach Dave Dennett, who coaches Nick Lucena and Sean Scott. They said, we're going to get big in Casey's line. Casey takes a hard angle approach and really likes to hammer that ball angle. So Nick's going to sit there, and he has to read that cut. He's already sitting in the angle. He needs to make a move for that cut. To the jump float to Sean Scott. Sean Scott beats it cross court 14 11. Absolutely thumped that ball, guys. Casey Jones. Sean Scott with the stuff. It's now 15 11. John Scott is a great blocker because he kind of hides where he's going to take and has great hand pe penetration over the net. If you're out there having fun, the AVP urges you to vive responsibly. Casey, down the line, 12-15. Casey Jennings did a great job staying behind the ball. He saw Sean Scott make a move inside, and he took advantage, swinging down that line. Sean wanted another nice cross-court stuff. Casey wouldn't give it to him. Jennings second in digs per game, 6.75. Matt Olson leads that category. For the San Diego Open. Jennings digs it. Furby keeps it alive. Crowd ready to explode. And they do, 13-15. As the defending champs, Matt Furbringer and Casey Jennings, close one and two. It's now time for the Bud Light Tournament Recap, where we'll focus in on San Diego native Matt Olson and his partner, Kevin Wong. Wong and Olson took a fifth, Here's how the rest of the field fared in San Diego. Russ Marchuka and Mike Placic, their best finish of their careers with a third. Who's back? Jose Laiola and Pedro Braza with a third. Fifth is Ring Stolfus, Miguel Souza with a fifth, and also with fifth, Mariano and Ratledge. Men's final taking place. You can pick up the action a little later in game one. 17 14. Got to make your run now. It's getting late. We played at 21. Must win by two. If you split and go to a third game, you play it to 15. Jennings, float to Sean Scott. Oh, what a dig by Lucena to keep the rally alive. Lucena's ball just long. 15-17. Watch this transition play by Matt Ferber. A great dig by Nick Lucena. The pop that up. Aggressive swing. He goes deep corner and misses it just a little long. Sean Scott. Oh, Sinjin, you said it. He rarely loses those jousts, and he lost one to Furbinger, but not this time, and there's an argument out there. Sean Scott knows he lost that second one, pushes extra hard, gets his body behind it, and pushes it through the block. I think Kate. Casey thought there may have been some interference under the net. You know, when you're up that high and your bodies are pushing above the net, your feet te tend to swing underneath the net, so there was some contact under the net, but it didn't really affect the play. <laughs> Sean Scott leading 18 to 15. Jennings. Nicholas <laughs> <laughs> says there, ball gets just a little way out, a little something for the effort of both squads. 18-16 on the board. Nick is set in the right spot again, sends it. Uh, unbelievable. He's not only in the right spot, he's getting his hand on really hard hit balls. That's just not an easy thing to do. I think Sean Scott's all, also doing a great job of hiding where he's blocking and going big over the net, taking a big part of the court. Sitting in the coach's box next to Dave Dennis, the coach for Sean and Nick, and he's just mumbling to himself, got a side out, got a side out. They're leading 18 to 16. If you sign out, you'll win the game. 
Easier said than done. Furby, almost on cue, comes up with a big stuff. 18, 17. Fair yeah. Yeah, didn't, didn't it, it, you're down on the sand with us now. You're looking up. Furbringer was so high and so far over the net, there was nowhere for Scott to go. He truly looked like a golden god to you. <laughs> <laughs> they do go to the good side here. Let's see if we can get this jump serve going. It's a loopy one to Sean. No, oh, no! Oh. Sean Scott, blasted cross court. Just off the fingertips, you guys heard it. Just off Casey's hands, I think it was in anyway. 1917. Oh, Deep yeah. Deep corner. Casey Jennings with a little heat of his own. Beautiful step by Matt Furbringer, and Casey Jennings comes in at a nice angle. Look at it, he takes a look and then bombs it by the blocker down the line. 18, serving 19, crunch time. Great crowd here at Mariners Point San Diego. First time we've been back since 2005. Sean Scott, it's off the net, playable. Yes, Casey on a chance for the tie. Hey, yeah! This hard to ball. Matt Furbringer pops it out of the net. Casey Jennings slices it down the line for a kill. Great lift here. He sees the opening, gets enough on the side of the ball to hit it away from the defensive player. Great play by Casey Jennings. 19-19. Oh, nice save by Nick. What a great set, Nick Lucetta. Shot Scott. Jennings for the tie. Lucena's gonna have a chance at the win. Time for the Crocs Cup standings. Phil Dahlhauser and Todd Rogers currently sit atop the list with Nick and Sean right behind them. Hyden and Keenan are third, while Olsen and Wong and Medell Souza round out the top five. The top 24 teams after the regular season advance to the Crocs Cup shootout. After the Cincinnati, Santa Barbara, and San Francisco shootouts, 24 teams become eight. A week later, the world's largest qualifier in Manhattan Beach will determine seeds nine through 16. Winner takes everything prestigious Crocs Cup and their share of the million dollar purse. Casey Jennings to Sean Scott. Beautiful hand shot. Great hand set right there, Sean Scott. Hard cross court, guys, he really seems to be going to that angle shot. Matt Furbringer's been jumping into that ang angle, but that one was too sharp. They're, I think they're mixing it up defensively, but that is definitely his favorite swing. 1-0, they go to Jennings. Jennings off the top, but Nick's gonna play a great job with his feet. Transition set is perfect. Casey Jennings feeling so good offensively. Good pass, transition. Off the head of Sean Scott. Nick Lucena, great job to get his feet in a position to set that ball. Watch Casey Jennings just get his arm up and grab that ball down the line. What I like, did you see the look that Casey <laughs> gave to Nick after he put that ball away? No love <laughs> lost between these two players, both very fiery players. 
Furby with the block. 2-1. Hey guys, I know we talked about it a little bit earlier, but these two guys are a lot alike too. They're kind of scrappy. They play with that chip on their shoulder. They really like each other off the court, but they have really had their battles over the years and almost gotten to blows a few times as you saw before. So you're definitely right. These guys will stare each other down at all times. So Gator, you think they really like each other off the court? Huh? I mean, <laughs> they respect each other. I'm going to say that. I, yeah, no question about that. He's not going to be that. the best man in his wedding, yeah. but they respect each other. There's no question. Good points. Yes. Well, Sinja, let me ask you, you had one of the greatest rivals, if not the greatest rivalry in the history of beach volleyball with Hov and Dodd. Did you like them? I still hate Hovland today. <laughs> I hate him. I don't want to see him. No, you know what? <laughs> I had a lot of respect for Hov. I have no respect for him anymore. No. <laughs> the reality is, on the court, we were great competitors. Off the court, we had a great time together. Holly McPeak, your greatest rival. I mean, later it's probably been May and Walsh, but before that. Gosh, well, it was Angela Rock and Carolyn Kirby for a little while. It's just, I've played for so many generations of different players, it, it keeps changing. And Holly, yeah. you came so close to the final, losing in the third game. I know you're disappointed about that. We'll get to that in one second. As Sean Scott uh, goes go, go, go. off speed down the line after setting it up with a hard angle shot. Are you hanging it up in a few weeks, Holly, or are we coming back? I mean, let's go, Holly. The camera's on you. You know, Geeter, I don't know. I, I feel really good playing out on the court, and I'm just going to continue to play as long as I have a great time. Because you look good out there. I mean, Thank you're play, you. playing great lately. Thank you. You know, she could retire and come back. Yeah, I mean, you're not tied to anything, but I'm going to tell you, if it's up to me, you're coming back. Thank you, Geeter. Hey, Holly, are you going to pull maybe a Brett Favre and do the whole crying and saying you're out and then maybe come back? I mean, you can do that, too. Look how much, <laughs> look how much pub Brett Favre's getting. I'm not going to close the door and come back, so I'm going to keep the door ajar. Oh. Cut shot. Nick Lucena. Nick Lucena just got up so high, turned his body like he was going to hammer the line and just hit a beautiful, sharp cut shot. He's just feeling it, you can tell. So confident. Well, he made a great straight-on approach from the right side is what you should do. And that his body was facing the line. There's a great hit. But then he cut the ball, so you couldn't tell where the ball was going. Again, Matt Furbringer on two. He's doing that or able to do that because Casey Jennings is passing the ball so well. Casey Jennings, your server, leading 5-4 here in game number two. Jennings, now he has a chance to put it away in transition. Lucena with another dig. A shot is just wide, 6-4 on the board. Furrier and Jennings lead. Nick Lucena is touching so many balls. First, Casey Jennings with the dig. Watch this rundown by Nick Lucena. He is so quick, gets up so high, and just hammering for points, but missing that ball wide. Welcome back to the AVP Croc Slam San Diego. Men's final taking place. We pick up the action a little later in game two. Furby, what a cut shot right there. 16-13. When Matt Furbringer gets his feet to that ball, he can really hit a high ball. Sean Scott is nice right on the ball, but Matt Furbringer at 6-9 outreaches him. I got to think being 6-8 helps on that play. Sean Scott. Sean Scott crushing it from the left side, 14-16. As always, the AVP reminds you to be very responsible. Sean, Sean Scott's doing a great job being ultra aggressive, bombing that angle. Casey Jennings unable to come up with that dig. Sean Scott's a lot like Gray Stoke. I mean, the guy's just a monster. So strong. Off the hands, 17-14. I mean, guys, at 6'5". Most, yeah, a lot of guys say technically the best blocker in the entire world for his size. It's a big man's game now at the net. Oh, I agree. I think Sean Scott is a phenomenal blocker, fun to watch, and he can really take over a match. He hides the area that he's taking really well and is always very disciplined about getting his hands over the net to block. Oh, Sean Scott, finesse down the line. The other thing about Sean's blocking is 
he, when, he, when he blocks the angle, he goes in and takes all of the angle. You can hit over Sean Scott. I mean, that's, I, I won't say it's not a problem. He gets up high, but you can hit over him, but you're not going to get the ball by him that often. Jennings. To the line, and it's good. 18-15. Casey Jennings is a side-out machine right now. He's just feeling it. I, I don't think Scott and Lucena are going to get any points off him unless they can get a shank pass off a tough serve. Jennings goes to the top spin jumpy. This time he's in the angle and he digs it, but he's off the net. Sean again for the second time. It's tight. No way, Sean Scott! No way, Sean! On two to the corner, 16 18. Lucena and Scott making some great defensive plays, and Sean Scott beautiful on two to the corner. Short on the sky ball, Sinjin Smith style. <laughs> I, like, I, I like the style, he just missed it. <laughs> it's a good time for the sky ball. At the end of the game, it, it, it changes everything. It's a whole different pass, whole different set. It's a good idea, but you got to get it in. I agree, good idea, but you have to execute. That's a crucial point. They wanted that 17 18 switch. Irving or 1916 gives instructions to Jennings what they want to do defensively. They go with Sean Scott. Jennings right there in the angle. A big swing for 20. Casey Jennings on your feet, San Diego! 20 to 16 on your feet. Game point number two. Jennings and Furbringer have a chance to force a game three. Onto watch his short tickler on the net. Nick Lucena getting up so hard, just whipping it down the line, flexing. He's feeling it today. You know, KC was watching him too. KC had a smile on his face. <laughs> Game point. Furbringer and Jenks. Are we going three? Yes, we are. Ladies and gentlemen. I just blew out my voice for the Olympics. Zero, zero. But Holly, the Olympics don't mean anything right now because it's all about San Diego, one, zero. It's all about today and these two teams want it bad and battling hard. Stay classy, San Diego. One, zero. Sean Scott, 1-1 one, one on the board. Sean Scott is getting up high and hitting a nice high ball, oh. avoiding the block of Matt Furbringer. Sean Scott at 1-1 one, one. on the good side. Going to the hard jumpy. Goes at Jennings. Jennings from six feet off. Great shot to the line. 2 1. Now we saw Sean bomb that serve and play defense, Holly. I think it's a nice changeup. Give Casey Jennings, who's on fire, a different look. But he just 
threads that needle down the line. Sean Scott's running that way, but just a perfect shot. Both teams are going to get great transition opportunities. It's just who's going to take advantage and make them pay off. That time, Matt Furbringer, I guess he touched that on the block because he tried to turn around and hit that, just miss hitting the ball. I sure hope he touched that. <laughs> that was a bad attempt. Furby. Wide, 3-2. Three, 3-2, two. Three, two. we switch, we stay, we applaud. Now, Sinjin, great thing about this event and this final, one of these teams is finally going to break through in 2008 and win their first title. These have been two of the most consistent teams. They've been in finals, but they have not won yet. So it's going to be a special day for somebody. Yeah, you know, every time I see a team win that has either hasn't won in a long time or has never won, it, it makes it takes me way back to my first victory. And it's such a great feeling, unbelievable feeling. And I feel for the guys when I see them and they celebrate and they're almost crying. It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, you know, Nick Lucena hasn't won since May of 2005. Sean Scott's last win was the last tournament of the year in 05. Casey and Matt won the final event of 2007, but it's been a long time for these guys to taste victory. Two teams that battle every single week and are right there. The Golden God, Matthew Furman, 4-3. He looks at the crowd and says, how do you feel about it? Matt Furbringer lines up Perfect on the ball. He's doing such a great job getting his hands over the net, taking so much area, the, sealing the net. You know, the big difference, Holly, in that set and, and a lot of the other sets that Sean has put away is that set was in the middle of the court. He likes it outside. Sean Scott. You're right. He looks more comfortable with that set pushed a little bit outside so he can turn it either way. Tough serve goes off the tape. Furby at 6'8", reaches and hits a perfect shot to the back line. 5-4 on the board, Jennings and Furby lead. Oh. Great high set, Matt Furbringer uses his height and hits that deep line shot. That is a perfect side out shot. Furby takes a nice deep breath. So here he goes hard at Sean Scott. Wow, taking off on two and hammering it. That was an incredible play by Lucina coming from the right side and hitting that ball right by. But the great part of this, if you can see Casey, you can't see him, but he's watching Nick run around just with a big smile on his face. And, and Sinjin, that, that's what I thought was the most incredible part about the play, was that he never broke stride after he feasted on it, went right into a dance, pointing at the crowd. I think that was the most you know, impressive thing about it. And you know what? It's usually Casey that's running around the court pointing to the crowd, but this time it was Nick, and Casey's going, what's up with that? It's nice. you got four pretty entertaining guys out here, and they're battling it out. Always great for the crowd. Everyone's having a wonderful time. Jennings. Just taps it. Ah, that looked really like a difficult shot. It might, it might not have seemed like that way on TV, but sitting down here, Holly, he had Sean in front of his face, and he just kind of slid it past him off speed. He slid it under his left hand. That is not easy to do. And he's just he's just feeling this side out game. He's a side out machine right now. Jennings. They're gonna go at Sean Scott again. Sean Scott off the hand of Furrier. Six six on the board. Sinjin, how close is Matt Furbinger to getting one of those? You know what? I, if he doesn't block one soon, he's going to bust a finger. Every time the ball hits his fingers, he walks back from the neck, clinching his fist like it didn't feel very good. It's such a great attack, though, that high off the tips. Attack, so tough. This is a big play. That's a good set. Tough over the shoulder attack by Jennings, 7 6. They got Casey Jennings in some passing trouble, but he just comes in and delivers the heat at Nick Lusain across court. Holly, how great of a shot is that? It's over your shoulder. You really don't have an approach and to hit it that hard. You don't have an approach, and it's hard to see the blocker because it is coming over your shoulder. It's a very confident swing by Casey Jennings. 
Nicholas Sad just in front of Jennings, 7-7. Seven, seven. That's why the best pass out here is the pass right in front of you, right to the net. So when the set goes up, it's up and down in front of you. You can see the ball, the net, and the court, everything in front of you. When you pass off the net, you're in a lot of trouble. Holly, would you say all four guys hit a pretty heavy ball out here? Definitely. Matt Furbringer hits a very high ball using his his height. Sean Scott's blasting away, and Casey Jennings, <laughs> Nick was Zayna, right there. <laughs> bombing. Holly, you said it perfectly. High, hard, with some heat. Eight, seven. Let's see if Jennings goes in that top spin or the jump float. Jump float. Oh, high at Sean Scott too. Nick betters the ball. Oh. Nine, seven. Peter, that's that ball you talked about. Sean Scott brought that pass back off the net, and he hit, had to hit the ball coming over his shoulder and did not get on top of the ball, hitting it just long. Anybody's game here, Simpson Smith. You know all four guys want it more than anything. What's it going to come down to? It's going to be a great play or a mistake, unfortunately, because all the, all the players are playing so well. I expect to see a, a big dig or a dig block that makes it makes the difference. The golden guy! 10-7. And you said he was going to get one sooner or later, Sinjin. But that time it was an off-speed shot that you just couldn't get over the long arms of the Golden God. He's 6'8". That's a tough ball to get over him. More beach volleyball action in a moment. The AVP Croc Slam San Diego has been brought to you by Crocs. Play hard, live comfortably. Bud Light keeps it coming. And McDonald's. I'm loving it. Jennings, he's gonna stay on that high float to Sean Scott. That time Scott goes to the heat. Jennings digs it back to Lucena. Oh, Jennings, this place will explode. Because Matt Furbringer's had so much success at the net, they're trying to avoid him, and Casey Jennings is right there gobbling it up. This is a great slice on a very low set to yeah. put that ball away for a point. I, I don't know if he could have gone anywhere else. And Nick was playing for a shot, I think, over the block. I, I don't know if he could have gotten it over there. Holly and Sinjin, Sean Scott's seen this before. In 2005, he was on the other side of the net in the finals with Todd Rogers, and Jennings and Furbringer played their best match of their lives. And they were doing the same kind of plays, digging it off the net, serving or playing it out of the net. And right now, it just looks like their ball game. Sean and Nick are going to have to do something here at 8-11. Jennings Furbringer definitely settling into a great defense. Watch here. Casey Jennings is right there, but Sean Scott just powers it right by him. But they're in the right spot, and that's where you want to be. Jennings, cut shot, 12 switch. <laughs> And Holly, that's just a perfect shot. The definition of a cut shot. Casey Jennings is coming in like he's going to hammer that line. He turns his shoulders and cuts it real sharp. Tough to stop. You know, in the past, I think Casey would have tried to really hit that ball, and, and it wouldn't be a smart hit. He, he did the smart thing. He shot the ball. This time they move Sean Scott up short. Ball was set a little tight. Sean Scott tried to hammer it through with his left hand. He would probably hit that pass 90% of the blocks, but Matt Furbringer is on fire today. Great penetration over the net. Not out of this yet. Sean Scott needs a side out, and he does. 9-13, trailing by four. Nick Lucetta, your serve. Talk about a much needed side out for Sean Scott. See how aggressive Nick goes to serve. Oh, great one. Furby with a high pass. Nick's there. It's going to be tight. Sean Scott.
there. 10-13. Goes again to Furbringer. It's one of those games, guys, where you feel bad for anyone who loses it. You kind of pull for all four guys because they are playing at a high level. 13-11 after Sean Scott and Nick Lucena score three in a row. He goes off speed. Keeps it in. Pressure on those guys. Crazy Jens on your feet for game match championship point. They kind of got what they wanted there, Sinjin, too. I mean, that was a, a tight pass to Casey and really a heads up play. That was a really smart play, a great play. <laughs> Nick and Sean were nowhere near it. through adversity and now they're looking for their first title of 2008 will they get it right here Furby with a great set For our Crocs Fancy Footwork Play of the Day. We'll take you back to late Saturday afternoon, our men's quarterfinal. Casey Jennings and Matt Furbringer taking on Matt Olson and Kevin Wong. Check out this soccer style play, the backwards bicycle kick by Jennings. And now we get a chance to dig it and put it away. Casey Jennings, a la Pele, on Crocs Fancy Footwork Play of the Day. Mariners Point, San Diego, California, the AVP Crocs Tour. This is our Gatorade Champions interview. Casey Jennings and Matt Furbringer, your winners. Matt, I'm going to start with you. I know your grandfather, Otto, passed away this week, and what a way to, to dedicate it to him. Absolutely. I mean, it, it's, it's amazing sometimes. It just takes the focus off, puts things in perspective, you know, the big things in life. And uh, Casey and I also come, came off some tough, you know, some tough finishes, and we just really put our focus on doing the basics this week in practice. And we came out and thick and thin. We had some bad moments in a lot of games, and we just stayed with the basics, and Casey played awesome. And... I just want to thank, you know, Kent Ewing, Justin Franson with athleticism. Everyone has helped me in my life to get to this point because it, it's, it's not that easy, and we, and we got it. Okay, so you guys have definitely been through your ups and downs. You guys were down one game to zero. What changed in that match, and what were you guys thinking? Nick was on fire, and I just wanted to make him earn his digs, and I was hitting him right in his pocket, so I was going to hit a little deeper at his head and then try to bounce a couple fast ones in front of him if Sean was going to continue to stay over on the line. And uh, Matt sets me great, and so it's just a matter of time, and if I can pass the ball, the vision's there, and I, we knew if we just kept chipping away, we would score points, and if we can side out at a decent percentage, we, we always are going to score points. Six years together and six titles from San Diego, California. Matt Furbringer and Casey Jennings win it for the first time in 2008. So long from San Diego. For Holly McPeak and Zinjin Smith, I'm Chris McGee, and we'll see you after Beijing.